Let's go over traffic now. So we're in Scheduler, in Scheduler Advanced. I'm on the Traffic tab. And what traffic is, is advertising on a schedule that is independent yet can be merged with your actual programming schedule. Be very hard to diff uh, very difficult to schedule your advertising right with your programming schedule. So this is meant to let you do it independently for every single what we call flight here. So I'll make um, I think I'm just going to leave this as account. Uh, you could name it whoever your customer is, whoever is running the ad. Uh, it starts off with some flight parameters, uh, a date like uh, Friday. Uh, April 1st to Friday, April 8th. Um, the Some of these times have ha will have already passed. Uh, we want to pick a uh, file for this. So let me pick a file. It's just an audio file. It's very generic. You can also choose a whole folder for this too. You can have one of your flights actually rotate through um, a bunch of different audio files for your customer. In that case, just choose a folder instead of a file like what I did here. So what we end up with is a flight, and you can set up exactly what um, when its start time is and when its end time is. Um, but in order to integrate it into your schedule, you'll actually have to go into your schedule, uh, into one of the programs. I'm going to take the hourly for now, and I'm going to go into the script, and we have to indicate where spots can actually play. So for that we want to add a command and make it a spot and place it where we'd like this advertising to go. So let me figure a good place for this. Maybe after we'll say after the time right here as an example. You can choose how many uh, ads are allowed to play at this time. And I'll get into categories in a moment, but uh, uh, categories allow for prioritization of certain kinds of ads and where they should go. So now we have at least one opportunity for an ad to play in our schedule. We've given one opportunity for it. If we go back to the traffic tab here, we can see all the flight times. These are all your program times and when things can be scheduled. And in this column here, it shows spots. So for hourly, we do have one spot. It isn't filled, so we have zero of one spots that have been filled. And uh, nothing for rotated because we have no spot commands in that. So what we can do is we have some quick ways to decide when this ad should play. You can go by uh, a variety of weekdays or weekends. Um, you can pick specific times. Or you can even say, hey, apply this to a particular program. I only want advertising in a particular program. You can do that as well. And each one of these will actually be additive. So if I do that, and then I do this one, oh, there are no spot, uh, spots in there, so that's not going to work. Let me go and throw one in there just for fun. Put a spot command in there, at least one spot command. Do that after the time there. And uh, let's say rotated, and this should add to it. I'm going to clear them all, but let's just do the hourly and say let's program for all the hourlies here. So some of them are showing um, uh, that we uh, can uh, place and others we can't because in some cases uh, the weekdays we're looking at have already passed. Uh, our ad doesn't start until Friday, so that's the first time the ad actually gets passed. If I were to back this up a week, or, or further, let's go with uh, March 1st, we'll see that this fills in uh, back dates. Now you can move back and forth through your week uh, using the navigation up here. So I'll actually move back and forth. And you can see um, where things are going or where they have been in the past. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the very simple for how you would put these ads in. Um, you can be very, very uh, individual with how these ads are scheduled if you want as well. But we have some qu quick selectors here for this. So with what we have now, it actually shows how many ads would have passed um, had we started on March 1st. How many actually played, that's a real count which uh, DJ gets to increment, and how many ads are left for the future. So 
Um, I think I'm going to go back to today, and we'll see only 20 would have passed today, none played today, and there are 134 in the future uh, that we would have scheduled. So if we look into next week, for instance, we'll see quite a few more scheduled here. So shall we give a, a try to this? Let me delete what's up there, and we'll give a try to this. So let's see, we want the hourly, and it's going to start playing, so I'm going to come back over here and uh, mute it for now. And pick a time. We're coming up on 10, so let's do 10. And we should see this ad get placed in there. I don't think I have a particular color for the ad, so we'll have to look for it. I could have made one to make it stand out, but there it is. It got placed right there. So let's talk about uh, uh, traffic and categories now. Um, a lot of this is already explained, and it does get a little bit complex, but sometimes people need complex. But I do show it in, oh, let's see, DJ voices, music beds, voiceovers, advanced features, spots and ads. Here we go. Um, I explain everything here, but in particular, when it comes to the categories, and how it schedules spots, it's better actually to read this because I actually have a cards analogy here, which uh, gives you a good idea of how it works and how it places ads. It's like dealing cards to a bunch of players. Um, if you have a bunch of spots in your script, um, it will probably evenly distribute your ads. I say probably because it depends if you use priorities such as categories, for instance. So let's look at the categories really quickly. Uh, let's say one account is um, is a is something for food, and another is uh, for uh, it, it's just a, a PSA of some sort. I'm naming them very generically right now. Well, you can set their categories. So this will be PSA, and this will be food. You can you can have up to 20 categories. You define what they are and uh, you can label them exactly what you want them to be. You can label them right here. So that one's food and that one is categorized as a PSA. So with that we would be able to in the schedule uh, say look I want uh, one of these to be food and then uh, do another spot and I want this one to be a PSA. So I want my my food and my PSA to be at these points in the hour. And um, whatever is possible, uh, scheduler is going to fill in using those categories for the places where they are as best it can. But it will make sure that the ads play regardless if it can't fulfill these rules. So, so that's the basics of uh, traffic. Um, this could get again this could get fairly complicated so I suggest going in the help and reading that but I wanted to give you a brief overview of just how it's set up because for simple ads it's actually not that difficult if you have internal audio promos and that sort of thing you might find it isn't necessary to use traffic for that um, so you'll have to make your decision as to um, whether you should run certain things that you know are going to go right along with the program schedule you can just do those. You don't need scheduler advanced for that. You can do those with picks from playlists from iTunes. But when you need something more complicated, um, where you need a specific start date and a specific stop time, and you need specifics about how many ads played, that sort of thing, uh, traffic is definitely for you. There's a pre-flight and a flight report button here as well, and we'll take a look at both of those. The pre-flight uh, gives a text output, which you can copy and paste somewhere for the purpose of billing. This tells exactly when the ad plays. It will tell your customer even what program name it's playing in. Um, at least it will tell them what hour it's played in. When you get to the flight report here, this will show nothing right now, but this will actually show uh, exactly what time to the second their ads played and uh, you can copy this text and put it in whatever billing software you use if you bill customers for it. But you get some good reporting with it. So that's traffic.